redacted text with only a few letters left visible, spelling out the question. That would be oh unsettling enough. God, I'm my hair on my back of my head. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with another video. This one is going to be another random Wednesday, non-episodic reaction to a video to a something that has been recommended a lot and these, since these are the first couple on this new schedule for the wednesday episodic non-episodic you know reactions i'm just going to be choosing them this has just been one that's been highly recommended since i just recently did doki 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 literature club on stream a few weeks ago um scarred me for life i am pretty sure it scarred a lot of people you know it, it just gives me kind of a mental paranoia now for when i when i see a lot of things that seem to be good and, and and happy um also after i played it a few days like a week later actually kimchi and tofu specifically kimchi um played it as well had a had a very fun time with that i watched like, hours of his stream doing that too he was a lot more into it than i did he had uh, different accents for all the characters man it was a great game there's a reason i love that it's free there's a reason it's so highly reviewed and and it's just incredible so highly recommended it's it's so good i can't recommend it if you haven't if you haven't played it don't watch this video of course this is absolutely going to be spoilers for the game because there is um but yeah i've seen this because i've subscribed to game theorist i don't watch too many of his videos because i don't play a lot of the games he does videos on um but i've definitely seen this video i've seen this thumbnail stuff like that there is uh, like four videos from what i can tell of doki doki by game theorists by by matt um i think that's his name is it matt i have no idea i don't have no idea where matt came from but uh like all content that we react to from the youtubes make sure before you guys watch this video pause right now the the video link to this specific video to his video that he worked probably hours and hours and hours on is going to be at the top of the description make sure you guys go over there view it like seven times click the like like six times even though you can't do that it wouldn't do anything different but uh, then come back and watch this one. Got to make sure you guys support each other in this kind of game because you, I know how much work goes into this stuff. I am excited. Um, with these kind of the new uh, Wednesday videos, man, I am just stuttering like crazy during this. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not editing this out either because I don't care. Um, with all these new Wednesday videos, if you guys want me to react to something specifically, just make sure you guys comment them down below. And I'm just going to be kind of going off the top comments mainly based off what the next Wednesday video is gonna be. So just, if you, there's something you already see commented and you want me to watch, just like it. I'm just, that's pretty much how it's gonna work. Enough with the wasting time. This is a really long intro for just a short video. This is 12 minutes long though. Um, let's figure out what Doki Doki's scariest monster hiding in plain sight was, even though I'm pretty sure it was Monica. Whatever, let's, let's find out. Oh, no way, a text message. Who's it from? Aw, Jacksepticeye, how sweet. And there's a picture? How's it going, laddies? Th that's not how I wrote this gag. That's Another actually one. creepy. What's going on here? Wait. What the heck? Steph! Steph, are you pranking me? You promised you'd spend time with me, Matt. Me. And only me. I like how Matt set this up with Mark. Mark Applier, Stephanie, his only wife, me. and everything only, in there. Only, 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 only. Oh, this brings back memories of this game. Oh my god. Man, the quality. I wonder, does he edit all his videos by himself? Because the quality is always just top notch. Top tier. They need to stop doing these glitches. It literally scares me. Internet. Welcome to Game Theory, where it's our goal to systematically prove that everything in your life is secretly terrifying. Over the years, we've made you Which fear public Wi-Fi, minimum wage jobs, and even the house next door. I but haven't seen today, any of those videos. I might have checked them out. about a game that'll make you stop trusting the very computer you're using to watch this video. Unless you're part of the 75% of users who watch this show on a tablet, phone, console, or TV. In Not us case, right um, now. Uh, just, just pretend you're scared too. <laughs> Okay. okay, okay. Looking at its Steam store page, Doki Doki Literature Club seems harmless enough. A cutesy, pastel-tinged dating sim starring four adorable waifus. Look at the reviews. Overwhelmingly positive. Try your hand at I love that. Low, low price of 
3. But look a little closer and it quickly becomes clear that this game isn't the fun, light-hearted visual novel that it makes itself out to be. For starters, the top tag on the Steam Store page is Psychological Horror, which That's what gave me a clue. And at the bottom of the game's description, which is a cute little greeting note from the Literature Club's President Monica. Monica here. Oh, it's actually from Monica? I didn't know that. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. And in case you missed that one, the game greets you with that message yet again as you boot it up. One final reminder that this isn't meant for the faint of heart. It seems like a joke, right? <laughs> oh, well, let me assure God. You, it is no joke. So in that spirit, this is your last chance to stop watching this video before yeah, I no, absolutely have no one seen this. It is without exaggeration this. one of the best written, most surprising game stories of this year. Even if it takes about two hours of fairly slow so long, but I love it. Really good stuff. Play it yourself. You're not gonna regret it. Did Matt do highlight playthroughs on GT Live? You'll get the point. Okay. I don't know so why I keep assuming his name is Matt. Did Game Theories the game do a video on this, like a playthrough of this? I would love to watch that. A lot of you. Let me give you a quick rundown. During your first playthrough. Through Doki Doki Literature Club seems like a normal visual novel with a pretty neat mechanic of composing poems in order to woo the various girls in the club. Your childhood friend Sayori, quiet bookish Yuri, and young aggressive Natsuki. But at Natsuki's the end of your first run, strange things begin happening. But I don't know why I kept going with Sayori Yuri. succumbs to her depression and commits suicide. Oh. Soon after, she's oh. deleted from the story entirely, and you're kicked back to the title screen. But something is clearly not right this time. As you replay the game, the world begins breaking apart as it tries to move forward without Sayori in it. Eventually, you discover that the club's president, Monica, has become self-aware within the game and is manipulating the game. Oh my god! He's just going favorite. through the creepy highlights of this game and it's giving me chills right now. The player love her. When nothing else works, she deletes everything else in the game, leaving just Monica. Just Monica and you in the club room with nothing to God do but damn it. forever. At least until you do what she did to the other characters and delete her character file in order to save everyone else and reach the true ending. Doki Doki Literature Club intentionally leaves a lot dangling for gamers to figure out on their own. But out of all of it, one question has been bugging me nonstop since I finished playing it. What is the story behind Monica? The game presents her as simply being a character in a visual novel who suddenly becomes self-aware, but all of that doesn't doesn't quite add up. The way DDLC is designed, the way that Monica manipulates it, and the things that she says in her extended conversation with you all hint that there's something much more sinister going on with her. And that is the theory for today. That's right, dear theorists, the hidden truth of Doki Doki Literature Club is that Monica is from a different game. Monica what? is Flowey, who also happens to be Porky from Earthbound, who's really the purple guy from FNAF. Sorry, the rest of the theorist team just pulled me aside for a quick intervention. Apparently I'm banned from making any links between this game and Undertale. Or any game and Undertale. Well, really, really I'm, Undertale. I'm not allowed to touch Undertale anymore. I've, I've but in all seriousness, it. Monica is from a different game. And not just Monica either. Doki Doki has a lot more to it than first meets the eye. Okay. Even once you make it through the main story. Because the ending isn't even the ending. When you restart the game after deleting Monica, Sayori assumes the role of club president now and things are pretty normal until the end of the first day when you get perhaps the biggest twist of them all, Sayori now is self-aware, expressing the exact same desire to hoard you to herself that Monica did. So there's gotta be something that at least Monica and Sayori have in common, and possibly the other girls as well. I don't even remember. Did I not play possible. the Sayori See, ending? I, could, I possibly did. Doki Doki Literature Club is designed that doesn't But holy shit, this is creepy. Throughout your second playthrough, Monica reveals that she's been manipulating events behind the scenes the whole time. That she's been messing with Yuri, Natsuki, and Sayori's character files by amplifying their worst traits so that you'll like them less, and you'll like her more. That's why Yuri goes from being a little bit clingy to being self-harming and obsessive, why Natsuki goes from being flirty mean to just being a plain old jerk, and why Sayori goes from being mildly depressed to suicidal in the span of a few days. These are all the consequences of Monica haphazardly adjusting their character parameters behind the scenes, but Hold on a like, second. Look at this that editing. might this seem is incredible. to make sense the on the surface, but if you actually out. stop and think about it, that's not really how visual novels work at all. Visual novel characters aren't AI-based. Their behavior is determined entirely by what's written in the game's script. The game's dialogue script, not programming script. I can see how that gets confusing. There's simply no need for a character in a dating sim to have complicated behaviors like this. But what if they were created for a more complex game? 
What if the characters in Doki Doki Literature Club were intended to be used in a different game altogether? One where they would need to have more complex, believable responses to a greater range of player choice. What if their assets were simply repurposed from that That's game like PT in order to make right this dating sim? It's not just speculation. The clues are there, hidden in plain sight in Doki Doki. Give it to me. Mechanic, Give it to me, the game theorists. Over the course of the first act, you read poems from all the other club members, which seems pretty innocent. Sure, reading between the lines, you can start to get hints that Sayori is depressed, that Yuri is prone to self-harm, and that Natsuki is being abused by her father, but yep. it's nothing overt. In the game's second act, you're given three randomly selected special poems you out are. of possible 11 that makes these hints much more overt. But there's one of these poems in particular that really stands out. A huge block of redacted text with only a few letters left visible, spelling out the question... That would be oh unsettling enough. God, my hair on my back of my head. Stand up, to sit run up. Dark images through Photoshop and play around with sliders. If you crank up the exposure on that image all the way to max capacity, suddenly it becomes possible to read the full text. Really? And man, it is weird. A regular heartbeat, heart palpitations, arrhythmia. I search and search, eyes scanning everything I can find on their symptoms. What is this? Shortness of breath? Chest pain? Dizziness? No, this is all wrong. Alyssa's symptoms are nowhere near this simple. I've seen it twice now. The screams of pain, sickeningly pale skin, vomiting blood. There is no other explanation other than that Renier's information was a complete and utter lie. This can't all be coincidence. It's not possible. I don't know how much of this Renier is behind, but I do know this. There is something horribly wrong with this family, and I accepted the invitation to become a part of it. I can hear Alyssa's screams through the walls now. I listen helplessly. Renier said he would be with her shortly. Is he in her room now? Why is she screaming even louder than before? Oh. Chilling, right? This creepy letter is literally hidden right in front of your face while you play this game. And what's it all mean? Well, those opening lines make it sound like someone who's trying to identify an illness. A regular heartbeat, heart palpitations, arrhythmia are all possible problems of the heart. So it's not so much this person is making a diagnosis, but rather it's someone trying to read the symptoms he's yeah. seeing and figure out what the diagnosis is. Yep. It's a clinical assessment, which means that the speaker is a doctor okay. of some kind. And notice the words he uses, their symptoms. It's an illness affecting Affecting multiple people, multiple? Family, okay. as we see later in the letter, that he joined that though. Apparently, you can join. Yeah, like a cult. It's also worth noting that this doctor who's speaking has some degree of detachment from this girl Alyssa, almost like she's a research subject of some kind, possibly part of a human experiment. And when you put all this together, a cult performing experiments on young girls, it starts sounding familiar. We hear about human experiments exactly two times in Doki Doki Literature Club, both really? times when Yuri describes the plot of The Portrait of Markov, the book that she wants to read with us. A book which has a, quote, ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. In the first act, Yuri makes it sound relatively innocent enough, quote, Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust, end quote. In the second act, Yuri's personality gets a bit more unhinged, and she gives us a creepier description of what's actually actually going on on these pages. Yeah, she does. Quote again. Basically, it's about this religious camp that's turned into a human experiment prison. All the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... And then she cuts off. That's a lot of information for a fake book, especially when you compare it to what we learn about Natsuki's favorite manga. And that's because what Yuri tells us about the portrait of Markov isn't just a short snippet of text meant to create the illusion of a bigger story. It is the bigger story here. It's the plot of the horror game that Team Salvato is working on. The game that all four of these characters originate from. And if you think I'm done, oh no, we have just scratched the surface. We can dig deeper to uncover more about this horror game, including its title and release date, as well as how these four girls fit into the overall story, because Team Salvato left a whole ARG's worth of content hidden in Doki Doki's game files. If you thought that the 
literature club was interesting before simply because it had these cool meta moments and jump scares well get ready there's a whole other game here just resting underneath the surface waiting to be puzzled really? together that'll start to make you really question everything you thought you knew about sayori netsuki monica and especially yuri but it's all way too much to cover in this one video so ring the bell to subscribe help us get closer to the glorified paperweight so that way you can know when that's later the end of the week, first yeah, part oh okay part two comes out and things start to get really crazy so, i am already excited for this new game and I we're think definitely gonna have to watch part two of reddit community members have uncovered about it you're gonna be really excited too and in the meantime remember that's just a monica a monica just had to leave that one like wow the amount of quality that went into that first off was editing was absolutely fantastic am i correct is his name matt i don't watch too many of his videos i don't know him too well but uh, yes, first comment says Matt Pat. Okay, it's Matt. That's I, I know I've seen that somewhere. That's why I just kept calling him naturally that, you know. But holy shit! First off, that poem. As soon as he read that poem, that was that was hidden mainly by the blocks. Oh my god! I always know there's underlying like secrets and foreshadowing in this game and and, and Easter egg. Oh man, this is getting so deep. This is getting actually so creepy. story of markov everything yuri said monica i don't think because i remember deleting monica maybe i just don't remember it but i don't remember maybe maybe i didn't do it maybe i just don't remember it actually doing the monica ending where she becomes uh not monica the sayori ending where she becomes self-aware i'm not sure i remember that holy shit though man i think i'm gonna have to watch part two if you guys want me to watch part two comment that below because that can definitely be an option but I'm literally like as you saw throughout the whole reaction there I was pretty mind blown pretty quiet throughout that whole thing all right I gotta go guys I'm out of here yeah I gotta edit some videos but Jesus I don't want to say Jesus Christ but Jesus Christ if you guys enjoyed please leave a like like I said comment whatever you guys want me to watch me see you guys are dope peace out guys